Hello everyone, uh, this is Milo with a very exciting update. So, I have been greenlit. Yeah. I am so excited about this. You have no idea. You probably do. Uh, the game that got greenlit is called Way Home. That's the horror game that I've been working on in uh, Unreal Engine. Now, it's such a weird thing because uh, the way Steam Greenlight works is you upload, uh, uh, you you pay your your entrance fee, so like a hundred something bucks, and uh, that goes to charity, uh, and that allows you to upload games to Steam Greenlight. So it's your, it's your like one time fee for that account. So you pay that, you upload your indie games to Steam Greenlight, and then the community starts voting yes or no whether they want to see this game on the Steam platform. Now, I have two games that's on Steam Greenlight, Way Home and uh, Artag Rise. Now, Artag Rise only came out, uh, it's a game that I'm working with my f close friend, uh, my best friend, and uh, it came out, I think, maybe half a year, maybe three, four months after I've uploaded Way Home. Uh, so, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one too, but Way Home, uh, it's, it's such a weird thing that it got greenlit because the yes or no percentage is absolutely ridiculous um this is okay this is our tag rise so you know it's if you guys want to vote for it shut up <laughs> shut up me yeah this is a four player multiplayer game but anyways um i'm gonna stop that this is way home yeah <laughs> um so the weirdest thing we have 1500 almost 1600 unique visitors and uh if i'm gonna go to my stats this is the w weirdest thing okay so we have 184 yes votes uh and i got 661 no votes so my yes my approval rating is only 37 percent our tag rise is even uh even less than that um but Way Home got approved. It got greenlit, and it's the weirdest thing. Um, I think about half a year after I uploaded Way Home, I was researching. Uh, yeah, look, look at that. Look at that. Usually, the approval percentage for general games is two, uh, two thousand, almost three thousand votes for yes, and you need to have at least a fifty-five percent or like fifty, fifty-five percent mark mine is only 37 and it got greenlit it is such a miracle i'm so excited for this and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about the actual project and what what uh, its stance right now uh as it is right now and what i'm gonna do with it but anyways about half a year after way home has been uploaded uh usually when you upload the the project first you get the surge of votes um for people uh who search the the main page the the steam greenlight um main page if i can find it no i can't um green light yeah the steam green light main page when you upload a new project it gets featured on a fresh page so people can vote for it that's where your initial surge uh comes in afterwards it's all slowing down so after that initial surge um having a an audience like a youtube audience or or um uh, uh, Facebook followers, Twitter followers, and asking them if they want to check out the project, that's where all the residual votes come in. So it's your audience who needs to show Steam that they actually approve and they approve of your game, they want to see it on Steam. But it's weird, I don't have an audience. Uh, I have like 120 people on s on youtube on this channel and most of those people are just subscribers who uh, who've subscribed years ago they're probably not even checking out this uh, uh this um youtube channel so this is weird because as i said the approval rate for um for my game was only 37 percent so about half a year after i've uploaded it and uh my initial surge of votes as um uh, pretty much uh depreciated uh i've i've looked into the articles and the interviews uh, of vlogs blogs forums of people and past uh, past indie game developers who have had their stuff greenlit uh and they've they basically said pretty much the exact same thing that when you upload something to greenlight um if you have a like a marginally quality project 
uh, that at least shows that you you have some potential. There's there's a solid idea. Uh, uh, there's this uh, some effort put into the t the texture work, the art style, the the, the models, uh, things like that. Is those things usually play a huge role into the success rate uh, or this the percentage of uh, your uh, yes vote. Well, no, not the percentage of the yes vote, but the rate of success of your game being approved. And it, it, that's basically what I read from all these forums. And it's the weirdest thing because I have 384 yes votes. Uh, and my game got greenlit. And 661 no votes. Uh, but knowing Steam, I mean, there's a lot of young people on Steam uh, who... Uh, the, the, how should I say this? They're not at the, at the stage where they appreciate an artist's work, and they just—I don't know—I don't know exactly how to say it properly without dissing too many people. But I have. There are people. I have. There's actually a video of a guy who downvoted my uh, the Way Home project just because uh, he was just binge going through all these fresh videos, and if the first like couple of seconds did not interest him, he downvoted it. And it's people like that who basically don't give the project a chance, which is I am so glad and grateful right now that I've actually been given a chance to get this game on uh, up on the Steam store. Um, so right now, uh, what I'm basically doing is if, if you take a look at my my stuff, uh, yeah, the, this this approval rating is absolutely phenomenal. It just took me by surprise. Um, just goes to show that no votes don't actually matter. Maybe I don't know. It's apparently it's, I sixty three percent people voted that they don't want this game on Steam. Apparently they don't keep they don't <laughs> they don't matter. Uh but it's it's the the one thing though about this project is I went through the comments and there a year ago when I uploaded this game I would have disregarded most of these comments. Uh, some of these comments just go, oh, this is a shitty game. You know, I don't want this on Steam. I, I don't want the sanctity of my Steam page to be fouled by your garbage. But there are a lot of people who have posted uh, legitimate problems and legitimate um, uh, tweaks that I should really put into this game to make it more appealing. A lot of people said that this game seemed too dark. And now, a year ago, I would have said, it's, it's you know, it's a horror game. It's supposed to be dark. It's supposed to have with a flashlight. But uh, a year later, it, I, I start actually seeing the mistakes in my own game. And I start understanding that these people actually provided some valid input. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be going over the entire Way Home game. There's not too much in this game when you think about it. But the thing is, I made it using Blueprints, uh, which it's a lengthy process that does not require programming. It's like a, you, you punch notes together and to make your code. Uh, it's, a, it's a much better system than the Game Maker Studios drag and drop system, but it's still, you know, it's limited. So I have fully switched to C++ now. I'm, I've made a brand new project in Unreal Engine. So I'm going to show you um, right now. Uh, I'm going to show you. Okay, here I am. I'm going to go to... No, not there. I need right here. Okay, 2015. Engine... Is that it? Yes. Okay. So this is the last iteration of the Way Home project that I made in Blueprint. So I'm going to give you a tour of what it, the, the project is right now. And I'm going to uh, show you what I'm basically changing in it. And I'm changing pretty much all of it, <laughs> basically. Um, all right. So I'm just going to wait until Unreal Engine decides to load up. Uh, I have an instance here, but this is a C++ instance, so uh, the other one is just a standalone that uses blueprints. Anyway, so while the stuff is loading, absolutely took me by surprise. I woke up in the morning, and a single email, your game has been greenlit. I almost thought that that was a scam 
of you know people going oh you know yeah you've been green like go to this link and it's a fake steam link no it was the actual genuine thing i am so happy and overwhelmed right now but the thing is right now i actually don't have a job i lost my job uh and the the thing is i've been working in fast food industry for such a long time almost seven years um and i i really don't want to do that stuff anymore uh mainly because uh, I, i went to college for um concept art where I've learned the, the basics of composition and, and basic color work, working with different mediums, uh, live drawing, uh, you know, your, your basic stuff. Uh, and the thing is, those courses are all the same for all their three programs. It was animation, sequentials, which is comic books, and uh, concept art. And I went for concept art, and I should have gone for animation because I'm a stupid idiot. Um, so I did one year, and then after a year, it was like 12-hour days, and I thought, I maybe I should rethink this before I'm going to spend all my money into this one single thing. Uh, so I took that I took I took that one year off. So I'm basically a college dropout. Um, and uh, I I basically just got a part time no like a, a fucking part time job in Canada is basically a full time judging by the hours they give you. They give you part time pay for full time uh, of work. But anyways, yes, here in Canada. Um, so. I, so I recently lost my job, and I. This is right around the time I've prepaid about a month's worth of my, uh, my bills, my, uh, my, my rent, my bank, uh, uh, banking fees and credit card and cell phone, uh, my on my website hosting, um, stuff like that, and uh, right now I have about maybe another month left before my new bills gonna start coming in. Uh, so this, f the fact that the game got greenlit might be a huge break for me to actually do the stuff that I want to do for a, a goddamn living. Uh, to actually make video as my career. And it's, if, if I can, the thing is, if I can actually do this right, then I can actually, <laughs> I can be happy. Um... It's, uh, it's such a surreal thing. Anyways, okay, so this is the version that's made entirely out of blueprints. Uh, this is the main menu, so I'm going to go ahead into levels. Um, uh, game. Okay, so, yeah, this game used to be called Go Seek before I called it Way Home. It, it's like a project name, you know, usually you don't name your, your game right off the bat. You usually have a code name, uh, and, you know, once the game actually... Um, gets its shape uh and and starts you know gaining colors it's some kind of shape you can you can have a clear idea of what the game's going to look like then you can start thinking about the uh the name of the project anyway so i'm going to quickly load this up to show you what the project is right now and what i'm going to change uh in it so as far as assets go most Mo yeah, most of these assets are custom made. So all all the furniture is modeled. All everything's been pre programmed by me. Uh, every shader, every texture, every you know yada yada yada. Except for the uh, the tree pack, uh, the uh, the foliage and tree pack that Unreal um, Engine Marketplace had um, for I think like fifty or sixty bucks. I picked that up because. Uh, it, it it you know it's such a like a mundane thing it's it's foliage right so there's all these different trees for all these different seasons and i think for sixty dollars it would save me a lot of time uh then to make all those trees and foliage and animate all of those things and create the level of detail maps uh and then program every every single whoops every single tree instance uh it, it for 60 bucks it saved me a lot of time so that is the only piece of asset pack that i actually i think uh i think it just crashed so um yeah okay um fuck you too then uh i'm gonna go to <laughs> steam green Light. sorry to waste your time uh, I'm going to go Steam Greenland and I'm going to show you the trailer. So you can just, you know, watch the trailer right now. I'm going to probably talk over it.
I'm gonna have to remove the trailer because with the amount of content I'm gonna be remaking, I'm gonna have to basically make a new trailer. Shut up. Okay. So. So this is the interior of the house. Uh, everything's gonna change. I'm gonna keep the textures, but the models are gonna change. This was the uh, the rough sketch of the basement. Uh, this was before I'm gonna uh, I put in all the furniture in. Uh, this is the main living room. And this was the outside. Look, it looks like a shit shack. It doesn't really look like a house because the game did not really intend to take place outside. But so uh, I'm going to. Okay, so that is the house, right? I really like this shot. I, I honestly, <laughs> I, I like this shot so much. Um, yeah, the camera work in Unreal Legends is absolutely phenomenal. It's great. So, I mean, this this is a box. That's basically what all this is. So, this is the first thing that I'm doing right now. Uh, and the first mistake that I made in, Unre in Unreal Engine. This was the first project that I started with. So, um, the first mistake I made in Unreal Engine is build my level within Unreal Engine. And what I mean is, is I made this box and I turned it into a mesh. Because uh, the Unreal Engine... Um, uh, the Unreal Engine meshes are uh, are editable, so they're not objects; they're uh, actual geometry. Um, and what I did is I went right click and turn it into a mesh or, or something like that. And uh, I that's how I made the entire house within Unreal Engine. Now it, it sort of looks okay in the shot, but I wanted uh, now the game starts within a house right away, but. Now that I have an opportunity to actually make a good product, I'm going to make an actual cutscene. I've changed a couple of things about the script, about the intro, about the uh, the story of the main character. There's not too much to it, but at least to give some sort of um, a, uh, a premise for the situation that the main character is going to be in. Uh, so you can see, you know, this is the first thing that I'm going to change, the house. So what the house looks like right now is this. this is huge improvement as far as I can say uh, this is the first huge improvement that I'm gonna do uh, I'm, I'm gonna be contributing to this project I'm gonna be changing everything about this game the core mechanic will stay the same the way the mechanic is executed is gonna change um, and uh, the uh, right now this this house I have made uh, using a um, okay, hold on. I'm just gonna toss this into first floor. And I'll select object. This was from the reference image. So I took this image. I found an interesting looking house uh, in uh, uh, on Google Images, and I basically uh, used that image as a reference to make my uh, my house. So you know, you got the the first floor. There's your your porch. Uh, your second floor, or no, no, that's your yeah, your second floor. So I'm gonna turn off the um, the thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm doing this uh, floor by floor, so I can actually see what's inside, so I can model the details. Um, actually, I'm gonna put this up here. No, down here. Okay. So yeah, uh, this right here is uh, my first major improvement on this project. So if I go to um, Unreal Engine and I drop myself into the actual gameplay this uh, uh, the game stays the same you're playing as a little kid um, and you know it's in the demo so you should know about that uh, right now there is a demo of the game as it is right now on the Steam Greenlight page, so you can download it and play it. I've had people. I had one person report uh, some sort of performance issue um, uh, with you know his current uh, gaming setup that uh, there were some stuttering, some uh, some lag. Uh, haven't uh, besides him, I haven't gotten anything uh, anything else. But it just may mean that people haven't really played the demo. So first improvement, as you can see, uh, you, you can yeah you can get the uh, actually hold on. I think I, yeah, I do. I have a, um, I have a build of it, an actual final build for the demo. Um, I'm gonna do that uh, right now. Packaged, yes. 
Uh, we have more letter. Let's try this out. Okay. If it works, it works. Yeah, because the the uh, it's been a little while since I've opened this project because um the uh, after I've gotten the first initial um uh feedback and the performance issues I figured okay I I don't have enough knowledge on uh, how to handle a hype you know so oh I think this is yeah this is like the demo um or the version of it that is Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot I'm playing a horror game. Uh, but this is not an actual version of the game. This is just a... Um, I think this is... Something else. Engine demo package. Okay, here we go. This is the one. This is what I need. Sorry, that was, the, that was the, I think, the debugging version of it. So, after I've uploaded the game for the first time, I was... I was somewhat unmotivated. You might hear stuttering because I'm, I'm screen capturing this right now and the game is un unoptimized. So, um, where's the game taking place? Please tell me it's on the main screen. Yes, it's on the main screen. Okay. Um, and I'm going to need to make sure that OBS is actually recording this crap. So I, I'm sidetracking a lot. I, it's half of the stuff was planned. Half of the stuff is just coming to me as I am recording so I'm gonna put OBS on the side and see if it's recording okay I think it's I think it should be recording is it no I don't think so. okay let me let me add this uh, this game right now window capture uh, yes game capture capture any full screen application Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you're not gonna see my. Uh... Oh, you will. You will see my face. Okay, so. Um... Okay, so right now I have a prologue, which is just a little audio tape, um, and uh, you press it, it's gonna give you a little, uh, a little intro of um, the the story inside of the house, uh, but. That's uh, that's for for a later time. You can get the demo and, and actually listen to it. But what I want to do is actually give you the uh, okay. Skip the intro. That's the audio only intro that I want to switch for an actual cinematic. And the reason I want to switch for an actual cinematic is since the last year, uh, when I've uploaded this game, uh, I've learned motion tracking and I've, uh, uh, or motion capture for character animations, and I've learned motion track or camera tracking for uh, camera animations. So I can actually make some. Um, I can actually make some uh, cutscenes that I would shoot with a real camera. I've actually put together a camera rig uh, with a Canon EOS M. I have sold, I don't, I don't think I've told you guys, I've sold my entire retro gaming collection for about 550 bucks to buy all this film equipment. And this is what the, basically that, along with a 50 millimeter lens and a couple of accessories, was all that I could afford for 500 bucks. Uh, so here, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what the game looks right now, I hope. Yeah, you you guys can see it. I apologize if it's a little too dark. That's one thing that people have said that the game is a little too dark. Um, okay, so you're walking around this house. Um, okay, and you can slowly open the door. <laughs> Out that this is a horror game. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, that scared the shit. <sighs> okay. Let's be careful. I'm gonna take my fucking heads. Okay. This is not a playthrough. This is a demo. Okay, so my batteries just ran out. I can pick up the battery right there, and uh, I'm probably gonna uh, I'm probably gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick tour 
yeah, the, the, the level is just a little bit stuttering. The music was me, by the way, yes. All the music was made by myself. Um, uh, considering that I've been doing music for nine years. Um, okay, so... Ah, uh, stutters, stutters. That's the thing. That's the performance issue that people have reported. But at the same time, I'm, I'm capturing and I've got my open. I've got an instance of Unreal Engine open. Uh, so, with a flashlight, I'm going to give you a quick roundabout of this place. So, as you can see, this is the main living room. Um, uh, the lag is strong with this one. Uh, this is the entrance. That's the kitchen. This is the way upstairs, which I have not modeled yet because uh, the, the amount of work you got to put into modeling is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, these drapes, they are randomly generated. So some may be open, some may be closed, depending on um, uh, depending on uh, your game or your random value of your game. Come on, stop stuttering. This lag is absolutely unbearable. I'm gonna end this real, real soon. So, you know, you have the view outside, uh, and obviously you cannot leave uh, this area, and this was on the side of a cliff. This is the tree pack that I bought. As you can see, this would have taken me... Okay, no, that, that's, a, that's a game mechanic. That means one of the ghosts is being unattended. Um, anyways, so basic overview of this place. You know, I've got the basement here. Um, and the basement's walled off, so there's nothing there. Uh, and there's nothing there. And you know, I have the cabinets that work like this, and uh, you can. Okay, no, I'm 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 done. Oh, oh, no, that was no, I died. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I'm quickly shut it down. So you've seen, you know. The little stuff that you've actually seen there um out of the, the the stuff that was basically what way home looks like right now um and this is what i'm basically changing into so there will be an intro scene where you have to walk to this house through a dense woodland um and uh yeah as you can see the layout is a little bit different so i'm gonna have to rethink um the mechanic of uh, the mechanic of the entire game. Uh, sorry, I'm still recuperating from that fucking jump scare. Oh, I totally, I, I totally forgot about it. All these fucking scares are there. Um, anyway, so this is the second floor. There's going to be an attic as well and the basement. Um, yeah, this is what, this is what I'm doing right now. Uh, I have about a month before my new bills are gonna start coming in so I have a month to completely remake this game the one thing I do know how to do uh, is uh, or, or I should say the one thing that I am sure is how to do this stuff right this time uh, because I made a lot of mistakes the first time like making the level in Unreal Engine first excuse me and texturing it there that was a huge mistake. I should have done it in the Maya all along. I did not know how to do this. Uh, I've just been picking up scraps of tutorials off of YouTube and Unreal um, Engine and um, Unreal uh, Forum answers. Uh, they, they have like the Yahoo answers for Unreal Engine. Uh, really useful. A lot of useful stuff over there. Um, yeah, that's basically what I've been picking this stuff up. So right now, as far as audio goes, I'm I have pretty much completed all of the audio that needs to be the walking the steps the open and close uh sounds the the jump scare sounds the music soundtrack uh the, the the bells for you know how much time you have left stuff like that so um yeah this is right now let me actually quickly go to maya and i honestly i'm just curious about what this uh entire house looks like so i'm just gonna like this yeah as you can see i've i've went for the victorian like old victorian style house for now it's just the front image i can see the in the image there's a little thing right there that looks like another window like this so there's probably going to be that uh, it is an attic so uh it's probably like two windows for the attic and uh the sides are pretty much uh they can pretty much just be uh the brick sides and brick walls um 
for the most part uh, maybe a couple of windows uh, here for for the rooms on the second floor but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and uh, export selection and house I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video right after this right after I show you because I basically told you everything on the, everything that I'm doing right now. So the one good thing is about is the fact that from the previous project I can reuse materials, I can reuse textures, I can reuse uh, the the normal maps and bump maps, uh, and I can reuse some of the uh, the furniture. Uh, the house itself will, is being remodeled right now, so I'm gonna go back to Unreal Engine. Uh, I'm gonna select this house and I'm gonna re-import this asset I kinda wanna make the uh, a video presentation of how I make this game but at the same time if people get up if actual or just casual gamers get a hold of these videos they will know what the game is about so if I will have to do there we go okay if I will be doing a video of how I made this game that is awesome. Well, it's way better than than what I had before. That's for sure. That the the sh the shitty little box, that, and you know the improvement. So yeah, it uh, over year over the past year since I've uploaded this game, I've learned how to do motion tracking. Uh, um, camera tracking, character animations, um, uh, mocap, and, and CGI in general. And uh, this is basically what I'm going to be using now. I'm going to be applying the, that knowledge to this revision of the project. And I'm going to make sure I do this stuff right this time and actually consider what people said about the previous, the, the, the actual project on the steam green light the fact that there, it's too dark you saw it it's too dark all you have all you can see is just the flashlight and the reason I had the flashlight is because uh, I needed to have the enemies the jump scares in the flashlight area uh, when you look at them so that they wouldn't appear to the side and you would kind of see and the jump scare would not trigger because you're not looking directly at it uh, but I did find a, uh, a neat trick for using a shaders in order to make that happen in order to have the enemies only appear when you shine the flashlight on them which is gonna be really cool but anyways yeah this is uh, this is my update of what I'm doing right now with my life so I have a month to finish this um, basically I'm, I'm actually sleeping during the day and working during the night because nobody bothers me during the night it's absolutely fantastic so uh, I will talk to you guys later write you know your your opinion in the comment uh, section below and uh, if anything check out our tag rise that game also needs to be greenlit because that game is actually made by me and my friend uh, and a voice actor who's uh, uh, who's uh, who's done some work on this this project as well so if we can get that game greenlit as well it's not just me who's actually benefiting from uh, from the project and uh, God knows we could use the money so uh, I will see you guys later and uh, you know, 